So, what we have done in this first expedition into Woodtick, I think is the name of the town, is we have four items. We have a piece of eight. I'm rich. Damn right you are. We have a shovel. Thrifty dig for the treasure hunter on a budget. Oh, that sounds wonderful. We have a piece of paper. It's blank. And we have a bucket. It's just a bucket. Good to know. Using this, we shall find Big Whoop or something. Let's just head on out of here. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll leave. We will leave. That is good enough for now. And now we can get out of town. And just like before, we are back on the overworld map. Or the world map. Whatever you want to call it. Let's see, there's a beach. There's a swamp. There's a cemetery. And there's a peninsula. Is there anything over here? Nothing on the mountain? Not very many places to go here on Scab Island. Let's go to the swamp first. That sounds lovely this time of night. International House of Mojo? Are you kidding me? Doesn't sound good at all. There's bats flying everywhere. International House of Mojo. Yeah, I read that already. What the hell can I do with the coffin? Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. Seaworthy? Seriously? Fine, bro, bro. Bro, your coffin. Quickly through this one. Because there are bats and they want to nest in my hair. It's... <laughs> Why? Why? Why is this creepy? We have a giant skull here. And we just got eaten. Lovely. Look at the skull. Display model. Can I take it then? Well, it appears to be bolted to the table. That is one hell of a display. It appears to be yo-yo string. Oh, I want a yo-yo string. Well, just take a little. Yeah, sweet. Show me this little. Ash to life. The uncremating cream. Uncremating cream? It looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. Yeah, if you couldn't tell already, we have found another Voodoo uh, shop, I guess. They're unlabeled. Can I take one then? I don't think I'm qualified to handle them. And anyway, they're gross. I don't think I'm qualified Fine. to handle them. And anyway, they're gross. Don't look that gross to me. It's the same Guy Voodoo Lady! Three food. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Oh, look. You look so much younger. <laughs> uh, do I know you from somewhere, Voodoo Lady? Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the Voodoo Anti-Root and how to turn it into the powerful ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh, yeah, now I remember. I don't. You showed up once. I talked to you, and uh, that was it, and the rest was all me. Voodoo lady, you're a liar. Maybe I was supposed to go back and talk to her like every time. Voodoo lady, I'm stuck. <laughs> Maybe I was supposed to do that, but I didn't. Tell me about Largo. Apparently everybody wants me to build a voodoo doll of him. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! Damn right I did! True evil can never be destroyed not, completely. Not you even with see. root beer? But, but I sprayed him with the root beer. That cleanses everything, voodoo lady! Why don't you just put a curse on him? Yeah, that's a good idea. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What do you need for the doll? What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? I am. To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. It does rhyme. The thread, 
I need a piece of Lago's clothing. Okay. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Fair Bring enough. me a sample of fluid from his body and from his dead relatives. You must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Ooh, a shopping list. Thanks. Now go. Oh, I don't want to go. I wanted, I wanted to talk to you more. I Back can't. again, Mr. Threepwood. Sweet, she doesn't disappear on me. How's business? How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. The evil eye. I can feel it watching me at all times. It knows I have the ring. Tell me about my fortune. I'd like to have my fortune read. I see a hard road for you, Guybrush. Things didn't get easy for you when you defeated LeChuck, did they? Probably People not. only wanted more. You had to keep proving yourself over and over. The pressure kept mounting until you lost it all. Your fame, your fortune, the one you love. Okay, that's enough. That's kind of depressing. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with voodoo. Voodoo lady, you depress me. Where is Elaine? Well, that's enough voodoo for me. Bye. So be it. Why did I lose my girl? That's not... That's not good. Alright, we'll get back into the coffin and we'll row our way out of here. <laughs> so weird. Just... Ugh. I don't understand. Why am I in a coffin? So, we do have our voodoo shopping list that they won't let me look while we're in the coffin. So, I will get onto the shore. And then we will look at our voodoo shopping list. Great recipes from the International House of Mojo. Page 139. Aunt Helen's special voodoo doll mix. Ooh, something Helen. of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Yeah, something of the body. Okay. So, first thing that I'm going to do is use the bucket with the swamp. Wow. A whole bucket of mud. And it's mine. All mine. Oh. We can just quit right now. Who cares about Big Whoop? Bucket of mud. It's a bucket full of mud. Yes, I, I am fully aware. <laughs> so, using this bucket of mud, I think we're going to need to go back to Wood Tick because there are going to be some things that we need to do in here. So, most of this stuff I assume we're going to be able to find in his hotel room. That'd be my first guess. So... Let's go ahead and actually, I bet something from the body. I bet, I bet he, she said in fluid, right? His spit's still here. Can I use? Ah, I probably should use like a paper or something. Use a paper and a spit. Ugh, oh, yuck. But I think that should count for something of the body. All right, let's get out of here. So one is down. We're not necessarily doing it in order, but we are getting things done nonetheless. Now, let's be sneaky and go through this open window. But you didn't even notice that was there. It's kind of hard to see. Wow. Make some strange faces. Ooh, Vichy Swass. Very, very nice. I've never actually had a Vichy Swass. I've had something very similar to it, though, but they don't call it Vichy Swass. It's a cold potato and leek soup. Potato and leek is actually very good together. It's too heavy. Oh, of course it is. What's in the stove? The fire's out. Of course it is. How you doing, cook? Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. Not really. You're peeling potatoes and... I'm putting skin back on them. Peel, yeah. Where are these potatoes going? Oh, there's a knife on the table. Let me grab the knife. And canned goods. Yeah, it's all cans of fruit cocktail. I bet the knife comes in handy though. I hate fruit cocktail. He doesn't want it. Fine, we'll go out. The barkeep might see me. But not through the front. Let's just get out of here the way that we came and Try to figure out what we can do with this cook later. I bet I need to make him mess up. Yeah, nobody saw that guy, Brush. You're, you're cool. But we need to do something 
to make him lose his job. I just don't know what that is yet. So, let's head into the hotel room. But we've got this innkeeper in the way. He won't let us back there. I have an idea. Let's use the knife. On the rope. Hey! How old Pegbiter get loose? I Peg better bite. go catch him before he catches somebody else. I bet he does. What's in the bowl? Cheese squigglies. One of my favorites. Oh, cheese squigglies. Pick up the cheese squigglies. And I got a concept art. Okay. Can I go in here now? Alright, first thing you want to do is close the door. It doesn't seem to stay closed. It doesn't close all the way. So, let's use our bucket of mud with the door. <laughs> Brilliant. I think I hear Largo coming. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. Oh, I revenge. Can't get this thing off my head! It's best served with mud. When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry! And Maybe I shouldn't have done that. You oh, look pretty steamed. Who cares? Let's go ahead and... Ew, There's cheaper. strange little white bugs all over it. Oh. No. It's a bit on the tattered side. Okay, so, no, I want to... Can I use the two pack? I don't think I should do that. Well, he grabbed it, even though he didn't use it. It's a bit on the tattered side. Uh, open the drawer? It's already open. Look in the drawer? It's empty. Nothing in the drawer. What else do we have? Leftovers. This place is gross. They look pretty old. Pick them I'd up. better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. Oh, that's nasty. And is that it? Dressing screen? Look at it. Nice. Okay. I don't like to get naked in other men's rooms. That's the first I'm hearing of this guy, Brush. Anything on the bed? Messy, messy, messy. Use Fargo it. could be back any minute. Uh, I bet I have some time. Can I close the drawer? It's stuck open. It's a bit on the tattered side. Sir, what can I... I know there's something I need here. It's already open. Where the hell is it? I swore it was in the drawer. I could be wrong, though. Because we have more or less all the time in the world to figure out what to do here. What's with the painting? I don't see anything special about it. Then again, I never really have understood art. Hmm. Actually, I think I need to leave. Because uh, I don't see it yet. I know I need to get something in there, but they're not letting me get to it yet. But we do have our second item, which is the toupee. There's strange little white bugs all over it. Yeah, he has lice. One of my favorites. It's cheese quickly. Sharp. Yes, you're very intuitive. Okay, let's head on out of here once again. Just he walks a little weird. I don't fully understand. Okay, so now I believe we need to head up here. You're making me mad, Marty! Yes. That's my name, don't wear it out. Look, I want it free and I want it tonight! Marty, tonight? Sure, I'll come. Sweet. I'm talking about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me. I've been dry for three years. What? I said I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. Oh. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up. Or else. Obviously, he does not know that it was us, but Mad Marty, he loves to party. Okay, let's go back to the street now that we have witnessed that scene, because I think that does actually unlock the thing that I needed. Because, well, the reason I couldn't get it before is because there was nothing there just yet. Inkeep is still gone. So let's head back into his room, and now, where is it? It should be here. 
Styrofoam okay. head. Can I do anything with the styrofoam head? Nice. I don't like styrofoam. It's yeah. bad for the environment. Who let you into my room? I, uh, thought it was my room? Well, it ain't. So get the f*** out of here. Oh, wow. That was pretty harsh. Okay, so I think I have screwed that up. I was not fast enough on the draw because once once he's in the room, there's nothing more that you can do. So we're going to move on and get the other thing first.